Well, it's been a hell of a year for everyone and with widespread resort closures and limited travel, many of us are spending a winter season away from the mountains. There is, however, one upshot to this. The backcountry is booming and splitboard equipment sales are through the roof. Today, we're gonna to take a look at what's to come from splitboard binding brand Spark R&D. <laughs> As part of our brand new Envision series, we're checking out some of the most exciting snowboard products to come for the 21-22 winter season. Now, before I get into the bindings themselves, it's worth taking a look at the kind of year Spark have had. When COVID-19 first hit, Spark had to cease manufacturing right in the middle of their production season. But rather than sit at home baking sourdough bread or posting yoga videos to Instagram, the crew from Bozeman changed up their business model and turned their shop into a mask factory for a month. During the global shortage of PPE, Spark ended up producing thousands of injected molded components that were used in what became known as the Montana mask. It's a really, really cool story of how just a small corner of the snowboard industry could play a super positive role in the midst of a pandemic. So kudos to Spark for that one. Once they were allowed to shift production back to splitboard binding manufacturing, they hit the ground running and managed to exceed their initial binding quota for the season. Even so, after producing more men's and women's bindings than ever before, they were entirely sold out by the end of September. It's worth mentioning that there are still some bindings available in select retailers. So even if you can't buy them directly through Spark's website right now, check in with your local snowboard shop to see if they still have anything available in your size. And that really should give you guys some idea of the crazy levels of growth we've seen in the backcountry this year and the demand for quality splitboard kit. So let's take a look at what they're planning for next winter. Perhaps a little unusual for this series is the fact that Spark's 2021-22 binding range will remain completely unchanged, but there is a very good reason for that. It's been a long and evolving process to get their current line to where it is. Their bindings and accessories are the culmination of literally millions of steps on the skin track, countless hours of computer design work and meticulous levels of R&D. Needless to say, they've got things pretty dialed and have already pretty much everything you could need from a splitboard binding. So the focus on next year will be on scaling up the production and meeting the growing levels of demand. And I'm sure that's very, very good news for a lot of people watching this video. Now, having ridden all of Spark's bindings myself, I can certainly testify to the quality, functionality, and the simplicity of use across all of their models. So let's take a quick look at what's on offer. The soft boot binding options can be broken down into three categories. First, you've got the Arc, and then the Surge, and lastly, the Pro Series bindings. All of them are available in both men's and women's sizes and different colorways and all of them use Spark's patented T1 system, which is incredibly simple, but highly effective out in the backcountry. The interface features this snap ramp in the toe piece, and that's what locks you into both the touring brackets and the riding pucks. They also come with a climbing wire for making light work of the steeper ascents. These can be really easily adjusted with your touring poles and they go between a zero, a 12 degree and an 18 degree climbing position. Finally, you've got the rip and flip highbacks, which are designed with both the ascents and the descents in mind. Uh, not only can you adjust the forward lean on the go, but they can also be adjusted into a negative 13 degree position to increase your stride length when you're moving along the skin track. First up, let's take a look at the ARC bindings. Now, these aren't just the most affordable bindings in the line, they're also the softest flexing and altogether more surfy feeling to ride. These are the ones you wanna consider if you're on more of a budget or if you're looking for a little bit more mobility or a surfier feeling to your turns out in the back country. That's down to their slightly softer flexing high backs, but also this little cutout in the center of the ankle straps, which gives you just a bit more lateral flex when you're turning. These were actually the first bindings I ever rode from Spark and I think I put in something like 30,000 vertical meters of touring with them and I found them to be ideal for exploring the back country. Next up and the model I'm currently riding are the Surge bindings. Now these are altogether more powerful bindings suited to bigger, more aggressive riders and those of you taking on more demanding back country lines. The high back's a little stiffer here, but for me, the biggest change I feel is in the larger and more responsive ankle straps. These closely wrap a large section of your boot and deliver a lot of power transmission between your turns. 
You'll notice the base plate is also made from a solid piece of aluminium, which compared with the RX makes them pretty stiff and powerful. Of course, that also bumps up the weight slightly and they do cost a little more too. But I'd argue that the subtle increase in both of these things shouldn't put off anyone looking for a really solid, comfortable and versatile splitboard binding. And then we come on to the Pro Series. So here we have both the Arc and the Surge bindings, but with many of the components upgraded, as well as a pretty massive drop in their overall weight. You'd have to say that these are the lightest and highest performing splitboard bindings on the market. So for those of you that are racking up some serious vertical meters and looking for the best in everything, these are well worth considering for the season ahead. Here you get lighter and stronger 70-75 aluminium heel hoops, upgraded carbon reinforced nylon high backs, lighter and more durable straps, and some pretty impressive custom hardware, right down to the stainless steel pivot pins in the snap ramps, which have been hollowed out to shave off those final few grams. It's all pretty impressive stuff, but obviously the Pro Series bindings come with the higher price tag. So these are probably better suited to those of you who've already got plenty of tours in the bag and really know the kind of performance that you're after. I've actually done a much more in-depth product overview of Spark's binding range, where we really get into the microscopic levels of counting grams and looking closely at the differences between each model. So if you're keen to check that out, there's a link to it down below in the description. Of course, Spark also have a whole host of splitboard accessories to complement their bindings line. These range from touring clips or regular and canted riding pucks to crampons, which is something I would definitely recommend you buy a set of. And new for the current winter, they're also producing their own splitboard skins. Finally, while the key story for Spark R&D will be on continuing to upscale their production and make sure that we can all get a pair of their bindings fixed to our splitboard for next winter, I have been told that as we speak, many of their team are currently out in the backcountry field testing some pretty exciting new things to come for winter 2022-23. We can't wait to see what they've got in the pipeline. But even more than that, we can't wait to get back on the skin track. And as far as their product range goes, we've already got everything we need for that to happen. Thanks again for watching, guys. And of course, if you've got any questions, stick them down below in the comments and we will get back to you. And also be sure to check out the rest of this year's Envision series, where we'll be taking a look at some of the most exciting new snowboard gear to drop for next winter.